What's up everybody, this is Matt Brown with another IoT hacking video. Today I have acquired potentially the weirdest IoT device I have ever encountered at a thrift store. It is the Earwax Removal Tool Camera. That's right, it is a Wi-Fi connected camera that they intend for you to shove into your ear to remove your earwax, which I will not be doing in this video for you weirdos that clicked on it for that reason, but we will be breaking down uh, the communication between this device and the Android application and seeing how things work as we usually do on this channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Matt Brown. I perform IoT security assessments as my day job and on this channel we like to look at some weird devices that are out there, take them apart and see how they work. And with that, let's go over first to the workbench and get a look at this device. So the things that came with this device, I mean, it's, it's, it's just weird. It's just weird. You can't, you can't get around that. Let's zoom in here. Um, you can see we've got different, you know, things for, you know, sticking in your ear, which we're not going to be doing. Uh, but we, we get this device, uh, which has a button here to, to power it on and off. And then here, uh, there's actually a light that I can turn on and off, actually from the application, which is kind of cool. Um, and uh, and a charger, a USB-C uh, charger here on the end, which is uh, which is kind of nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and look at the Android app, and then we're going to uh, capture some of the traffic that's going uh, between this device and the app with our handy Alpha wireless card here, and. Let's hop over to our screen. So here I am sharing my phone app here and you can see that it is connected here. So uh, if we kind of like peek up at the Wi-Fi, you can see that I am connected to the Sioux ear and then like what's probably part of the MAC address, this access point has no internet connection, but when we click here, we can see the camera, so we can we can see see my desk over here. This is this is potentially the creepiest FPV camera that exists in the world, and so so we can see my workbench over here. That's that's super interesting. So we can we, so we have this app. There there's some things you can do, but it's pretty simple. It shows the video feed, right? And as you can see, the way that the app and the device communicated is that I joined this open, unencrypted hotspot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that Wi-Fi adapter, that, that USB Wi-Fi adapter I have over on the desk, my Alpha Wi-Fi card, and we're going to use uh, the, the air crack suite, specifically the aero dump tool, to listen in monitor mode for all the packets coming from that device. So to do that, we are going to run AeroDump NG, and we need to get the name of my wireless adapter first, and it's gonna be this one right here. And then we're gonna run AeroDump NG. And then that is going to channel hop on all of the 2.4 gigahertz by default. You can see here, it's kind of switching uh, back and forth between the different channels on the 2.4 gigahertz range. And we're seeing all of my, my lab network stuff. And then we see this, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna control C out of this so it stops. But you can see here the Sioux ear access point and the associated you know, MAC address. But what we're looking for specifically right now is the channel, and we can see that it's open. It's unencrypted. There's no wireless encryption going on. Uh, we'll see if there's any other encryption going on uh, below that layer. Um, so we have channel 10. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the same exact command, but now we're gonna tack on dash C10. And what we're gonna see is now our little channel indicator does not, does not hop between all the channels. It stays locked into channel 10. So now hopefully we're not gonna miss any of those packets. And so then what we can do is we can come here in Wireshark and we can listen on this interface. And we can see a ton of packets streaming by. And this may look different if you've never 
captured at the wireless layer in monitor mode before because you'll see a bunch of packets that are white that are not color coded. And in Wireshark, the default, if you use the D default coloring scheme, you're going to uh, see this as well when you look at wireless packets that are not like, th that aren't like IP packets. So here we have a great example of an IP UDP packet that is sent. But then we have all this other stuff that's going on in the wireless spectrum uh, at the, you know, the 802.11 layer that we're not really going to get into because we are at this point only interested in these, these unencrypted packets or unencrypted again, not at the wireless layer. So the way we can do that is we can just filter IP and then it, it gives us the packets we kind of care about, right? And so if we go up here to the top, we see a ton of these UDP packets going on. And there's kind of two ports that we see these UDP packets coming from. So uh, again, we can see, you know, 192.168.1.10. That is my phone's IP address. Because remember, the, the little camera device, it's acting as the access point. So it is actually this dot one address. And my, my uh, phone here is dot 10. And so here we see a bunch of stuff from the phone getting sent to the device. And I haven't reversed this too much, but this seems to be some kind of uh, command settings, right? So potentially if we went in the app and we toggled to turn the LED, that little LED light on and off, we would see differences here. But what I want to focus on in this video is are these other communications that are going on from the device, the dot one IP to dot 10, my phone. And they're all coming on this like higher number, this like 10,006, some, it kind of rotates 10,006, seven, eight, stuff like that. But that is what we want to capture. So what I'm actually going to do is in the app. So we're going to, we're going to stop our capture over here in the app. We're actually going to stop streaming and then we're going to come back here and restart the packet capture from scratch and then we're going to open the stream. So hopefully at that point, we are getting like a fresh copy of, of the stream and any kind of initialization that's going on. And just for, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna move this around so that we we're generating a bunch of video packets. And so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna stop that. Oh yeah, just out. also there's like this like, uh, semi cloud uh, name that is trying to be resolved. Interestingly enough, it's trying to be resolved by the uh, phone app and it's connecting obviously to the access point and it's uh, it it can't get anything because the the ear tool doesn't have internet access, right? Uh, but what we want to do is we want to lock into these pat these UDP packets that are on this port right here. And so what we're gonna do in this, this like 10,006 port, we're gonna right click, say follow UDP stream. And now I already have it set to raw, but I can like go back to the hex dump view here. We can see that we, ha we have a bunch of data. We have all this stream and it's one way. So this is extremely small if you're on a small screen and I can't make this part of Wireshark bigger, but it says that the client has sent 465 packets and the server has sent zero. So oftentimes you'll see this is color coded as red and then packets sent the other way are color coded as blue and there are no, there's no blue here, nothing. It's, it's a one way data stream, which makes sense for video data. The video data isn't going two ways, it's just going one way in this case. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at that. We're gonna change this to raw, and then we're gonna say save as, and then I'm just gonna call this test.bin. We're gonna save it, and then we're gonna come over here to this folder, you know, in our, our, our sue ear folder, right? You, you've got sudo, now we have sue ear. All right, now, we're gonna run bin walk. So this, so we just grabbed the blob of all of that data, the raw binary of that UDP transaction, and we're just dumping it into this file. And so let's just run bin walk on it and see what we find. Okay. 
Let's try it again. All right, you can see here it's detecting a bunch of JPEG images, right? So this is kind of a telltale sign that there's probably unencrypted video data flying through the air over open Wi-Fi. And so that's kind of cool. And so I have not been able to completely decode uh, what, you know, video codec and everything to be able to get a clean video that we can like play in VLC. But what we can do, which kind of cool with Binwalk, is we can actually uh, use the dash C flag, which stands for carve. We can actually just carve out all of those like JPEG images and we can see kind of what some of the frames in the video would look like. And so uh, it's not it's not amazing, but here we've got a bunch of these files that are carved out and we're just gonna use the Fay program to uh, look at these images. And so you can see here that there's obviously like the unencrypted video data that's being transferred there, but uh, obviously we don't have the offsets and all of the, the codec nailed down completely. So that is, that is just kind of the start of my look into this device. So uh, the cool thing is, is that now I want to rip this device open and see what's, what's going on in the inside. It's actually pretty impressive, the, the video quality. So uh, one extremely funny use case that we have for this is uh, the following. So I thought like, what could you use like this ridiculous, you know, first person view for? Well, you know, it's like, I wanna give you guys FPV soldering. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. All right, so I've got some pads I'm gonna solder here. There we go. You're getting, you're getting the, F, the first person view of me soldering and doing a terrible job because I'm also holding the camera. <laughs> what a ridiculous little device. But yeah, there we have it. There's there there's our uh our soldering job. Uh thank you for watching this video. I I hope you I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. In the next video, we're definitely going to tear apart that little device and we're going to see how it ticks on the inside. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments. Thanks. Have a good day.